Greetings and salutations, my name is Kutosel, and welcome back to Stellaris. In the previous episode, we have met another empire, got another faction, got a uh, science ship lambasted it by a Stellarite Devourer, and became very salty. In a good way, actually. And right now we're just basically improving our general domain. Up, uh, upgrading our planets. Um, oh look, we can upgrade that. Research, we briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in our systems, or it could be a sign of something more. Research it. Uh, we have managed to upgrade this to a uh, planet System administration, discovering that these guys, actually, these, these robot guys, actually count as a population in that regard. Um, important to note that they do require energy to maintain. Oh, look at that, talking about energy to maintain. Oh, lovely. As soon as you grow, you give me a lot of energy. But I, 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 I do want the unity, even if just one. It's one of 17. It's important to me. Also upgrading for food. And we've got, I'll delete this in a moment. And we've got this planet. Since these two grow, we'll also have a five population. This planet has so many minerals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven tiles. The rest, I'm not quite sure what I'll do with that. We'll see. This planet, um, every empty tile is going to get minerals. Because it has like one mineral tile and one, two, three, four, five empty, which is not a lot. Six. Still a lot. I might actually turn this into minerals. Just because this planet has a plus 25 mineral modifier and will be right next to my um, administration. Which is useful. Or I might skip some of the food in favor of. Uh, it's only one food. I don't know. I might just put food on it for now and then later on replace it. We'll see. A micro singularity recently intersected Vega 4, passing straight through the core and merging on the other side of the planet. The counter does not seem to have caused any permanent damage, but it has altered the energy output of the planetary core slightly in a way that defies our current scientific models. Further study may be warranted. Oh well, it's not the. I don't I know, very clear. Biolab! <laughs> Slave resource production. <laughs> Army upkeep reduced is nice. Um, we're not really going to go for that often. The, 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 the invading completed. other planets. What did we research? We researched uh, thrusters. Oh, better guns. Better armor. Oh, uh, engineering pursuit. Let's do that because it's cheap. System survey concluded. Learn my lesson, not stacking up all the cheap decks for later because it's just silly. We are actually investigating a black hole without being destroyed. System nice. survey concluded. That's a lot of science. Uh, I would love to have like an outpost somewhere over here. Just grab that and that. But it's so far away. Thirteen minerals. Yeesh. Actually, let's also um, get some more Gizra. Well, one more Gizra going. Um, we do not want to Research appear weak. Concluded. Because if we do, we'll get eaten. Ooh, nice. Um... We'll definitely use that. Let's go for basic combat rules. It will increase the strength of our ships. And let's go to our science ship. Uh, that's the level one. And we go for the archaeology lab. 5% uh, less fail risk for anomalies. 5% discovery chance and just more speed overall. Better engines. We still have to make the crap. Uh, now let's actually put some deflectors on these things. 
There we go. I actually like the design of this sign ship. I do. Let's save it because we don't have a, a name yet. If you want, you know, to be a, all sign ships be your name, just pop a comment and. Uh, I will rename. But as soon as they are done with whatever they are doing, they will first off head back. Oh, you're level five. That's good. That's very good. Because that means you're gonna do some science. Anomalous reading. Oh, all we briefly detected some unusual energy readings emanating from this planet. It might have been a glitch in the systems, or it could concluded. be a sign of something more. Mm -hmm. Our gizra is done. Good. And the engineering facility. Hmm. Nothing really that want I want. A uh, better metal network is nice, but it's 90. It's not worth it just yet. Anomaly found. So I guess I'll just go for advanced spaceport. Survey concluded without incident. Research. Uh, concluded. This is just a bit too much. It's just too much. Uh, we've detected life signs coming from somewhere beneath the barren and lifeless surface of this planet. What men of organs could possibly live here? You go do. Oh, you actually have, you actually have a spaceport. Isn't that nice? Military Academy, right, uh, let's be able to remove more tile blockers, that sounds like a great idea. And... Build more your gisha. Also, we eventually want to... Uh, get the crew quarters and the engineering bay. But in due time. The magnetic field of Pole 401 experienced a complete reversal while it was being observed by the ISS Trump Dagan. This rare event has interchanged the positions of the planet's magnetic poles. Fortunately, it was all recorded by the sensor of a ship, providing our scientists with lots of valuable data. Awesome! And our science is really skewed! <laughs> Actually, do we still have a... Um... <laughs> That's so, so cute! Do we still have a uh, research agreement? No, no, no. Construction project concluded. We definitely should. There we go. You want this. Trust me, you do. They have accepted. Some kind of burrowing silicon based life form inhabits a vast network of tunnels beneath the barren surface of Olam 2. As best as we can tell, the creatures feed off rock, and there's evidence to suggest that they possess a rudimentary form of intelligence. The tunneling efforts have shuffled large amounts of valuable minerals to the surface. Nice. Temple of the Sun, you have finished construction on something at least. Yeah, more unity. I approve tremendously. Project concluded. Oh right, another Gisra. Nice. I see we just build one more. And we have our uh, cap on limit. The Vega system. Uh, pretty, pretty barren. Construction project concluded. Oh, look at that. Time to pick out what to improve next. Is this a single planet? No, it is not. Is this a single planet? No, it is not. Eh, so close. Yet so far. Is this for energy and one? No. But it has physics. So we definitely want that. Yeah, we can afford one more. Is there three energy? No, it's not. I prefer to have like high density whenever I do something. Um, more science, because it's what we do. Are you upgraded yet? No, you're not. I still need to assist research about. And our fleet limit actually went up. System survey concluded. We must have had an um, increase in population. And another ship to be upgraded. Construction project concluded. What am I researching at the moment? Hmm. Hmm. I, I, 
directly between keeping the ground on here and on here. Well, physics is the lowest, but putting it on engineering would definitely um, be most effective because it increases it by 20%. And that just means that it has the most effect on the one that costs the most. System survey concluded. And the final one to be upgraded. Well, that went pretty quick. Well, I meant they all came in ra rather rapid succession. Right, and then there were a couple of things that needed to be researched. You and you. Construction okay. project concluded. Oh look, we fin actually finished the um, observation station. And we can do several things. These are primitives. Yeah, relative. We can do passive observation. The natives are studied, uh, studied unknowingly from a safe distance and every effort is made to avoid cultural contamination. We can do aggressive observation. Well, we can't because we're, yeah, we're nice. But it's just showing that what, what you could do with an observation post. The natives are aggressively studied and live specimens are frequently collected to learn as much as possible about their biology and culture. So basically probing all the things, which means you get more uh, society research, but it could have consequences. And then there's indoctrination. Through subtle influencing of their society and culture, the natives can be brought around to our way of thinking. It will uh, make them adopt our uh, ideas over time. Or we could uh, enlighten them, which actually costs us uh, five energy credits and five society research. Amen. And it basically does an effort is made to rapidly elevate the native civilization to the space age. The time this takes is dependent on the current level of technology. When completed, this mission will turn them into a spacefaring civilization that is a protectorate. Or we could do co covert infiltration eventually. Uh, we can't do it, but apparently uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's a possibility. It also costs 5 energy credits and 5 society. And agents are genetically modified to appear as members of the native pop population and sent to infiltrate their society. They will gradually replace the world leaders and prepare the planet for annexation by us. This complex operation is only worthwhile on industrial civilizations. When completed, this mission will annex the planet and give the natives a large but temporary happiness boost. So right now you are in the renaissance. And you are spiritualists. You're also decadent, which is probably a bad idea, but yeah, well. Lacks owned pop. Yeah, you're decadent and no one to own. You poor things. Well, who knows what we'll do with that. We might eventually lighten them. Or we might not. Steps to the stars has finished construction. Oh, look at that. Uh, minerals. Mm. And that will skyrocket as soon as you build a mine because next to that is improved. Well, as soon as this is upgraded, really. Which will require a little bit more resources and uh, this guy to grow. Which isn't terribly long time. Research concluded. Right, we have basic comet rolls. Yeah, now it is time to get uh, the um, hyperdrive 2 up and running. And it's probably a good idea to switch back to society for the physics research. <coughs> there we go. Alright, what was it? I'll you. It won't help us growing because we, the plant's basically full, but. You know, it will help us with more Research science and included. more unity. We should also get a mining network in here. And we have uh, another travel blocker. Alright, chemical bliss again. No, I don't really want you. More habitability, could be nice. Another core sector system, could be nice, but 
Let's go for energy siphons so just to get that out there. Oh right, you're done upgrading, which means you are going to research projects and research some more projects. And you are still underway. Look at that. That will increase the happiness of our alien compassion network. We have received a communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that called themselves the Hygiene Pol Pol Polity. They claim to have learned of our existence by listening on the communications of another empire we are in contact with. You should be happy. Archon Daga and the ruling council of the Hygiene Polity have instructed me to bring you this warning. Keep your ridiculous looking alien ships well away from our space and know that our military will respond to any transgression with maximum force. Of course, they are xenophobe fanatic militaries, they're exactly the opposite of us. Because we are uh, xenophile and pacifists. You must throw your, away your old ways, Ijami. Really? You, you don't like... Oh yeah. Where are you? You are all the way over there. Good. I do not want you anywhere near. We should probably upgrade our ships. You... Oh, we're researching the second tier of that, so... We'll wait. Fleet enhancement supplied. Good, good. You will continue on research, uh, surveying this away. Wait, just how long would it take for the hyperdrive? Ah, now you're really going. You spend most of your time within one system anyway. So actually waiting for upgrading the hyperdrives wouldn't affect the uh, affect the science ships as much as it would do with the military fleets. Great, then you're going this way. We got the resources to uh, upgrade you and we can upgrade you. Great! Also, wish we can upgrade you and do all kinds of funny, nice stuff. How are you doing? Hmm. Let's get you a basic science lab. Uh, should probably also build a. In mining thingy jig here. As well, of course, as, as a dwarf bot. There we go. Aliens specimens procurement. The director of the Museum of Exobiology on Pillar of the Moon has issued a request for the procurement of several a live alien specimens. These creatures were spotted on surveyed habitable worlds, but they are difficult to capture. It required the full resources of a science ship for a lengthy period of time. Situation and we'll do it um, once, we're, once we feel like it. You know. Can I like, easily see complete. where they are? No, I'd have to track them on the map. Which is, you know, fine, but... Special project Ooh, concluded. Should also build a um, hydroponics farm. Actually, the um, basic science lab has a higher priority. I wish you could change the queue manually. <gasps> no! Well, that was stupid. <laughs> I cancelled the wrong thing. I cancelled the Agrobot. Oh well. The archaeological expedition we sent to Zeldra 1 has returned very little remain. Has returned. Oh. Very little remaining of the first League research base they were sent to investigate. Very well, I can't read. But judging by its isolated location, we suspect that the research conducted here was of the dangerous nature, possibly involving dimensional travel or advanced bioweapons. A uh, recovered data disk from the Academy of Sciences has offered some insights into how the scientific community of the first League was organized. Physics research is always nice. Oh! 
Um, after an intense study of the recorded first league artifacts, scientists on Pillar of the Moon have managed to deduce the exact galactic coordinates of Fenha Panis, the home system of the Great First League. We should launch an expedition to the system before someone else beats us to it. Situation log updated. Um, really? It's over there. I would prefer you to actually just go uh, over yonder. I think this also just stopped being a thing. And you are done building stuff for now. Uh, we really need to up our physics research. But until that time, you know, more science is always more better. I can't remember what kind of alien vessels were in here. Uh, above a single planet. I don't Debating know. hostiles. Where? Who? What? Pirates. This is blocked by pirates. Well, that's a bother. Research so if you survey over there, energy siphon. Uh, it's cheap. Let's go for naval capacity. This is just really, really stupid. <laughs> oh, I feel so dumb. Is there a lot of energy on this planet? No. I'll just put a... Wait, I don't have a gene clinic here. Oh, that's silly. Um, gene clinic. Research concluded. I want a gene clinic. I want it now. Anomaly. Oh, right. Oh, hello. Observing the asteroid, asteroid, we massive asteroid. We have found something. Further investigation is wanted. Thanks. We got better spaceports, which is nice. Defense station, also nice. But let's get go for better armor, actually. So many things we could upgrade. Minding your own business. Hee hee hee. Deep within the crevice of, a, of the giant asteroid we have found something astonishing. There is mining gear attached to the rock. Digging itself into the vast depths of the asteroid. It stands abandoned with no signs of who placed it there. If we can stop the machine we might be able to learn something about the technology used to build it. But we must hurry before the random de de debris crushes it. Yeah, a thousand minerals is also really nice. The drill rampage is also nice, Situation I think. I don't know. Updated. We're curious, we're going for that. Track on map, go to... It's all the way over there. You are... Uh, you can finish that and... Then... Get over there as soon as possible. Construction project concluded. You have about a year. You have a gene clinic, don't you? Yeah, you do. Good, good. Right, you're doing stuff. Yeah, just building buildings and waiting for the populations to grow. Well, that's fine. Construction project concluded. Excellent. Now go research. The first league headquarters. Oh, we found it. That was quick. Fenhabanis III was the administrative center of the First League throughout most of its existence and it served as the seat of their great senate. The planet was densely populated with a planet-wide city covering most of the surface. Food had to be imported from other, members, other member worlds to support the untold billions living in this enormous metropolis. When the League collapsed, these food shipments ceased virtually overnight. 
Those of the means departed for other worlds, but most of the population remained behind. Mass starvation and anarchy followed as the planet was carved up between warlords and criminal organizations. The population continued to dwindle for a few centuries until the planet had been reduced to little more than a lifeless ghost world. A final epitaph of the First League. Of course this is going to be the screenshot of the day. E Black button. Remembering which button it is is hard, you know. And what do we get out of this? We get... Ends the first league capital system event chain. Wow, that's a lot of words. Unity gains 2,772. Whoa! Society research gained 500 and influence gained 150. Boom! We can choose a new unity thing. We can form federations. Or increase habitability. System survey. Uh, ending up in the... Alien tourism, and uh, this basically uh, increases the federation thing. Hmm. I want them all. Just how much do you like me? A lot. Visitor center is also very nice. Oh, the Lux Diplomacy Form Federation. But I do also want the visitor centers because I know that they give unity. Yeah, I'm going for that just because having the extra unity is so nice. Oh, we can go straight for it. <laughs> and in four months we can do another that is amazing so we have the no dynamic ecomorphism which increases the habitability and we have alien tourism which unlocks the visitor center and now I know that the visitor center produces energy so we can replace one of the energy buildings of course it will not produce the same amount of energy and it will have unity which is really nice and have alien migration attraction which is extremely relevant for this planet i must confess uh, yeah but it will be a nice additional unity output and that is most certainly a lovely thing right you were finished um what what's what's this drill rampage all right Actually go and uh, research that project, because you're close to it. That's one of the creatures we need to capture. Actually, that's that's not the button I was looking for. This is the button I was looking for. Let's actually start tracking these. No, that was not the button I was looking for. This is the one we're going to be heading to. And they're all over the place, aren't they? Over here, there. No, no, no. No, it's not the same. It's just being weird. So this creature wasn't tracking that. So one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Pretty sure there should be more. Ah, uh, we'll see. All in due time. This is a really big boost. Wow. Love being able to complete the invent chain. Doesn't happen to me every time. So, I think that's where we'll leave it for this time. Um, thank you all very much for watching. And I do hope to see you again in the next episode.